Hey, it's Zicky Zicky Paint, I'm Kathleen, and today I am going to be doing a quick review on some face paints I got. So these face paints are from Create a Face, and no, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I just like to do reviews on things, as you may notice from some of our other videos. Click the cards. Anyway, inside, it's, there's a magnetic little thing here, which is helpful. This is their professional edition, but let's go inside. Okay, I'll take this out and these, these did not come with it. I'll explain them later. So it comes with two sponges, as you can see, I've already used them. It has a little dish where you can like mix stuff with, I usually just use it on my wrist or something. You get two brushes here. Then here are the colors you get. Then we get two sets of glitter. And then we get a bigger container. You can see the difference in size. This is of white, red, and black. I'm not sure where they have a big one of red, maybe because it's a nice mixing color. I'm not sure, maybe if you do a lot of Spider-Man face paints, but yeah, we have that. Anyway, when we first opened, you saw that I had this. These are just some uh, makeup face cleaners that I use for this because some of the darker colors like pinks and some of the reds and a little bit of the green, they stain to my face. <laughs> This is just a normal makeup sponge um, that I'm also using as a sponge like this. Almost the exact same material, they, they feel very similar. And yeah, that's all the paints here. So how I'm using this is, I have all my paints, I have a spray bottle that I'm using to wet down the paints. I just get one or two sprays where I go over it and look at my paints damp, damp and then I can use them. These are all my paint brushes that I use for normal paint, but I'm also using them for face paint. So I'm gonna do a few examples on my arm for you of how this all works. And then I'll do a clean off, just how I clean it off, so yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is a little fox face on my hand. I've done this before and it's super adorable and I like it a lot. For this, I'm going to be using these three colors, yellow, black, and my brown. Surprisingly, these colors come up really well. Okay, so let's start with the brown first. So I take my spray bottle and I just go two times. Or one, sometimes it gets a little, little too wet, so I'm just waiting for it to harden a little bit. I'm gonna grab a empty brush, take my bottle, or you can just dip it in water. I don't have water with me, so I'm just spraying it, spraying it, kind of drying it with my hand so it's just damp now. And let's do gold. All right, so for this project, I did get myself some water. So this is what the cream trees container is doing. It's holding my water for my sponge and my brushes that I just washed. So I have my fox here and now to do my little sunflower on this arm. So I'm actually gonna use the green too. We're gonna do a background sky with the blue here. So again, take it, spritz. Don't worry about if you accidentally water it down too much when you're using a sponge. Smaller containers, I just take it, the sponge, hold it in the container and kind of twist the end to it and it'll come out like this. All right. So don't dab it like this. What I like to do is, I think this is actually what you're supposed to do, just spread it. That's such a pretty color. This is really beautiful. 
That's my little area for this. I'm gonna keep actually the sponge out of the water right now because if I accidentally mess up, I wanna take it off and redo the background if I have to. Here's my highlighter sunflower, but I definitely like the root idea. I'm gonna do that in the future when I do a flower. But um, yeah, that's just how you use the sponge for the background. That's mostly why I did this. All right, time to get washed, washed up, so let's head over to the sink. All right, so I'm just gonna set my dirty paint water with my brushes and my sponge in the sink. I'm turning on the water to be about lukewarm. With a little soap in my hand, I'm going to rub the brushes against my fingers. This will help get, let all the paint escape your brushes. It's a whole lot easier than acrylic since this face paint is water-based. I do the same with the sponge, except I kind of knead in the soap and to rinse it, I just squish it under the water. And all you have to do for the water bucket is rinse it and dry it off a little bit. All right. I set the water to a little bit warmer and I put some soap on this makeup wipe and I'm wiping it against my arm. Since the blue is a little more harder to get off, I'm doing this a few times. So I'm letting it rinse against the water. Now I'm going to add some more soap, but this time I'm going to use the more rough side of the wipe and wipe it again. Now I'm turning my hand over and I'm going to go against the fox. It already got a little wet so this kind of helped. And I'm using the rough side just to add a little more soap and rinsed it. Alright so I hope you like this little review and kind of example of how I did it and my cleanup. Um, please sure to like this video and subscribe and let me know if you have any tips on how you wash your face paints if you use them or if you're going to try it just for fun like I did. Um, so yeah that's all for today. Have a fabulous day. Bye.